Hello, my name is Ilian St. Hilaire, and in this video we're going to take a look at scripting, but really nice scripting using block scripts. So starting with version 0.2.0, .0, when you click on the script editor, you will see something really nice. You'll see a set of blocks on the left that you can use to script AMT. Now, before I get started, I want to mention that scripting AMT is super important because it allows you to basically uh, set up a set of operations that you want to do on AMT. And then once you got those operation all set up, you can mass deploy those operations to many different computers all at once. So uh, this is what we're going to do here. We're going to edit a script. And once we have edited the script and we're happy with it and we tested it and it runs well, we can save it and deploy it massively to a lot of computers at the same time. So let's just get started. Um, on the left side, we have blocks we can use to uh, build our script. And what you do is you just take the block and drag and drop it onto the, uh, the script here on the right. And so I can just drag and drop blocks like this, you know, left to right. You can also right click on a block and say add and the block will be added at the bottom automatically. I can also right click on a block and say delete if I want to remove it or I can hit edit here by right clicking or clicking on the edit button. And so each box uh, on or each block of the script has a set of parameters to it and uh, you can hit the edit button see what the box uh, the block does and uh, edit those parameters you can also delete the the block here or change or cancel uh, changing the parameters so let's do let's start by doing a small tiny script uh, by the way, on the list of, of possible blocks here, you can filter them. So, for example, if I type add or basic, uh, you can just basically filter the, the blocks you want. This will be useful as we add more blocks in the future. So let's try a, a, a tiny little, uh, you know, tiny little script. So, for example, in the basics here, I can, I those are blocks that are not relevant to AMT. They're just basic uh, functions of scripting those i don't expect those to be used that much uh, especially the ones you'll especially use are amt blocks but let's just for for getting started start with a few basic blocks so for example i can set a variable to a value so for example i'm going to set x to zero then um, jump target this basically says um, you can jump to this place so sample lab label and then I can say print and uh, I can say X equal. And if you if you move your mouse on top of value here, you'll see the description of the argument. And it says that you, you can print a value by uh, using those brackets. So I'm going to just do that. X equals the brackets. And then I can say, for example, add one to X like this. And I can say jump back to simple label, which is here. So this will set X to zero. It will print X equals the value. It will add one to X and then it will jump back and just do an infinite loop. So probably not a, a good script here to do an infinite loop script, but oh well. Uh, and then what you do is you hit the restart button and this will compile the script. And then you'll see that this is the current line it's going to be running. And then, uh, and each of these blocks has multiple lines. We'll, we'll see that in a bit. And then when you hit continue, it starts running the script. And so then you see, you see here, script started, then x equal one, two, three, four, five, and you see it go right there. And you see the little black line here describing or showing where it's currently uh, running. And it's basically printing, adding, and jumping uh, back to the target and and so on. So that's all that this script does. Um, I'll just hit break. So that's that's my little script. Now if I'm happy with it, I can hit save, and I can make a uh, a script called, uh, for example, counter, and say save. Okay, and it saves it here to um, my download folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a look at my download folder here. And if I can find it, there you go. 
I'm just going to move it over to desktop. There you go. So now I have my counter script that I just wrote here. I just saved it. Now what I can do is at any point I can go to an AMT machine, drag and drop the script, or I can click on the run script in the in the page here. And oops, what happened. I have to. My script just went off screen. There you go. So I can click run script here, or I can just drag and drop the script. And you can see the script just starting. And I can hit stop anytime I want. Or I can disconnect, and I can select a few machines off of the main screen, drag and drop the script. Do you want to run? Yes. And you can see the script is now running on the three mach machines I've selected. So uh, obviously here I just did a script for a counter. But you guys can see that if I make a script for some AMT stuff, and now I want to apply the script to a lot of machines, I just have to build the script, save it, and just drag and drop it here. So I can hit stop um, on the machines. Oh, by the way, if I'm running the script, I can also say stop all right here, and it stops all of them. And at any point, I can click on the machine and say show script output, and you'll see the output of the script right there uh, after it's done, or actually even while it's, it's running. So let's suppose I run the script. I can click on a machine, say show script output, and you can see the output while it's running. So that's kind of nice. And I can stop them individually or all at once. And I can connect to one specific machine and, and run the script on just that machine by drag and dropping on, on here because I'm connected to you know, a very specific machine. So that's, that's you know, the basics of scripting. Now back to the screen, there's a button here called View Editor. And you can toggle between the editor and the builder. So the builder is, is these blocks here. And the editor is kind of the, the text-based you know, uh, text uh, version of this script. So basically, every block has a p little piece of code and some values you can set. And when you look at the editor, you can see that this is the starting block of the script. It's, this is always there. And then you can see uh, the set is right there, the label. And there's a command here called highlight block that, that causes this line to show up. So that's, that's this command there. And then print, uh, add, and so on. So in theory, you can actually edit this yourself. You could kind of hand code the script. But the preference is to just use these existing blocks and just drag and drop them and not have to worry about you know, this language here. But it's kind of useful to have there just in case. OK, so now that you understand the basics of, of scripting, uh, I'll actually hit new. Let's try to do something actually useful. Uh, in user accounts for this AMT machine, I only have two accounts, the auditor and the admin. Let's suppose I want to create a script that adds more accounts. So I can just drag and drop the add uh, digest user. I can say I want to create a user called Bob. I type in the password, and he's an administrator. Then I want to create another user called Joe. And I'll type in a password. I want him to be local only, for example, and only have a few permissions. And you can check the permissions you want here. So OK. So now I have you know, Bob, that is administrator with you know, local and remote. And I have Joe with uh, local only and uh, you know, a smaller set of realms. And if you want to see the realms here, you see the values there. But you can just edit and see the checkboxes anytime you want. OK, so now I have that. I can hit Restart to get the script ready. And, and I hit Continue. And it's going to create those two accounts. And so you see Fetching Digest Realm, boom, 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 and done. And if I look at accounts now, I see Bob and Joe here. So, and of course, you can edit them. And you see that it's, this one is local. And you see that it's set the correct realms, and so on. And so that's it. Now I can also, um, I can also let's delete this. Uh, I want to remove users, so I'm going to go and say I want to remove just Bob. Restart, go, and you're going to see Bob get removed. Oh, see what happened here? Oh, it's still going. Sorry, it's still going. There you go. Bob got got removed right here. And uh, actually, removal is much more complicated because you kind of have to go through all the accounts, find Bob, 
and Bob was found as account number two, and then you know two got deleted. So th so the code is is much longer. Uh, you notice that when you go to the editor here, uh, you see that there's a whole bunch of Wizman calls and da 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 da. Well, by default, only five lines, five operations per second get run. So the script kind of runs slowly on purpose. If you want to speed up the, the script, I have a script speed block. And you can set the delay between each step. And so I'm going to put 20. So 20 milliseconds between each step, which is very fast. And then I'm going to delete Joe this time instead of Bob. And I'm going to say restart. And then and you'll see how much faster. It's going to hit this block, set the screen, screen, script speed to be very fast, and then just run through and delete Joe very quickly. So I hit continue and say, Brrr, you know, much, much faster, tough, done. And then you can see the, uh, th this is all gone here. Um, so I can add, remove, I can print users, I can uh, set user consent, active features, for example, if I want to set a redirection port in either or serial over LAN, I can set the KVM state to, to enable or disable, ping response, uh, whether you want um, ISCP and RMCP ping to be on or off, you can set the uh, host name of the machine. So host name and domain name. Anyway, uh, so there's plenty of blocks. There's more coming. Uh, this is just a start. But you can understand how once you build your scripts here and you're happy with them, hit save, save that to file, and then you should be able to run that script on piles of machines all at once uh, using this script, uh, using the screen. So that's it. That's, that's block scripting in Mesh Commander. Fairly powerful feature. I think it's uh, something that's quite essential for uh, you know, doing AMT. Anytime you do AMT on more than a few machines, this is scripting is super essential. And being able to have the scripting language is uh, absolutely uh, critical to uh, AMT uh, management. Thank you so much. Have a great day.